Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from what we have here. The left hand side here follows from the law of indices a raised to power m minus n. Same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is from here. What we have can be written as 3 raised to power x over 3 square equals to 6 from here. Which implies here 3 squared 3 times 3, which is 9. So we have 3 raised to the power x over 9 equals to 6 on this side. And this is also 6 over 1 here. Then when we cross multiply, 3 raised to the power x times 1, that's still 3 raised to the power x. Then equals to 6 times 9. Here we have 6 multiplied by. 9 from here then what we have here we can take the log on both sides directly and we have log 3 raised to power x equals to log into bracket 6 times 9 from here then what we have on the left here follows from the power law of logarithm log m raised to power p the same thing as p log m then here x is the power then we have x log 3 equals to log 6 times 9 from here then next step let's divide both sides by log 3 so here we have divide by log 3 and also this side divide by log 3 that is log 3 cancel each other here and we have x equals to log 6 times 9 divided by log 3 then from here when we apply the law of logarithm from where we have log a times b which can be written as log a plus log b then what we have here follows this pattern and this becomes x equals to log 6 plus log 9 then divided by log 3 and from here we can separate these fractions and this becomes x equals to log 6 over log 3 plus here we have log 9 over log 3 then let's simplify further here and what we have here 6 can be written as 3 times 2 and also 9 can be written as 3 times 3 which is also 3 squared then this equation now becomes x equals to log here we have 3 times 2 then over log 3 then plus here we have log 3 squared then over log 3 that is from here also we separate this from law of logarithm and this becomes x equals to log 3 plus log 2 over log 3 then plus here we apply the power law 2 comes here and we have this as 2 log 3 over log 3 and on this side here log 3 cancel each other what we have left is 2 then also here this becomes when we separate this into two fraction we have log 3 over log 3 here plus log 2 over log 3 then plus 2 left here then also here log 3 cancel each other we have 1 then what we have is now x equals to 1 plus log 2 
over log 3 plus 2 here then we have 1 plus 2 here that's 3 so we have this as x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 3 and also from here we can rewrite this from change of base when we have log a over log b which is same thing as log a to base b then here we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 to base 3 so here we have the value of x to this given problem then we can check to confirm if this will satisfy the given problem here that is substitute the value of x in this equation then this becomes 3 raised to power 3 plus log 2 to base 3 then minus 2 there with this be equal to 6 from what we have then yeah we have 3 minus 2 that's 1 so we can see this 3 raised to power 1 plus log 2 to base 3 is equals to 6 from here then here follows from when we have a raised to power m plus n which is equals to a raised to power m times a raised to power n so here we can write this as 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power log 2 to base 3 is equals to 6 from here and 3 raised to power 1 is c3 then times this follows from a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b so from here this is equals to 2 and is equals to 6 then we have 3 times 2 of course that's 6 which is equals to 6 so here left hand side equals to the right hand side then we conclude from here that x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 3 satisfies this given problem so here we can say that x equals to 3 plus log 2 to base 3 and then thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn on the notification bell also give a thumbs up and share this video and if you have a comment put it in the comment section and thank you for watching see you in our next class and eh? bye for now